Hi guys, welcome back, and I'm back with the recap of, recap of, we here, we here, we here, we at season two of Zatima episode one, Basic Instinct, yeah, 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 season two, up and running, all right, so, it starts off with, you know, Zach and Fatima in the shower, you know, doing what they do. Get a little good morning sex time going on in the shower. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So I guess I guess Zach is about to come and whatnot. And Fatima, she was like, listen, we need to talk. And I basically she feels as if they're having sex too much. They have it in the morning, in the afternoon, midday night whatever the case be all all throughout the day and i guess zach don't feel as if it's a problem but to her it's a problem because you know you can only take so much and what i've heard and seen having sex too much and f will cause complications in both male and female like it would trigger something else like, I was watching, we're getting beside the point right here, but I was watching Sex Sent Me to the ER, right? And the they was, this couple was having sex frequently, frequently, that the fact that one of his balls got like, it, something happened to it that, you know, it, it got swollen and he basically was waiting it out, waiting it out instead of just going to the emergency to see what was wrong. And they said if they he would have waited a little bit longer, he could have lost the ball, could have lost his balls. And yeah, so too much sex will send you to the ER. So you gotta tone it down some. Like you will, will don't want want those issues. Trust me, don't want those issues. So anyways, get it back on to this. So you know they want Fatima wanted to talk about him having sex too much, and he feel like as if it's it's okay. And then they want to talk. Then also Zach was like, "Listen, you don't want to. You want to talk about how you snitched on my man Nathan and beat up my tenant." And Fatima was like, "Listen, I'm, I gotta process it." But he was like, "Listen, every time I want to talk about something, you gotta process it. But when you want to talk about something, we gotta handle it right then and there." It is true. I noticed it for Tima. That's your pattern. Like, you won't let the man, you know, do what he got to do and say what he got to say and get off his chest. He, You always got to process it. But, like, let him, you know, be that same person he is towards you. Like, come on, officers. Let it, let, let, make it make right. So, whatever the case may be, they talked it out. Eventually, you know, they, go, they get ready to go to work. And as they're leaving... They see Deja outside with a, a paramedic and an ambulance. And she's talking about how her body and stuff hurt. And then the, the paramedic steps off. And Deja was like, you know what you did to me. And Fatima was like, she said what she said. And then Fatima was like, let him hear. I don't care. And then, and then, and then Zach was like, shh, shh. Yeah. So... Basically, Deja's in so much pain because of being <laughs> drunk out of the hot tub. I was like, oh, snap. Listen, Fatima don't play with her man. Like, stay away from her man. You wouldn't have these problems. You wouldn't catch these hands. Or she going to get mad up on you. Mad up on you. You don't want that either. So, stay away from sister's man. Okay, Deja? We warning you. We are warning you. Stay away from her man. So, anyways... Fatima gets in her car to get ready for work. And De Deja and Zach are talking, whatever the case may be. Like, listen, whatever you need help with, just let me know. And then next thing you know, a few minutes later, Fatima comes back around like, oh, what's going on here? And I guess Zach, you know, he got scared or whatever day, you know, end up departing. So next thing you know, we got Zach at the barbershop getting a haircut with Nate with... What is that other man's name? Nathan's other friend. The other guy. I do not know his name, which is weird. I, I, just like that. The other guy. Him. <laughs> I think it's Tony. <laughs> I don't even know. But the other guy. Dad, his, uh, um, the, his dad's barbershop getting a haircut. 
and in walks his brother Jeremiah. And next, you know, he's talking about he his mother wants to see him. But Zach already knows his mother don't like him like that. So why would she go through all the trouble to see him? And then just so happens he gets a phone call and it so happens to be the mother. And Jeremiah is talking to her. And then I guess he was like, Zach, here's the phone. So she's talking Zach is picking the phone. He didn't want to. He was very reluctant. And he picked up the phone. He was like, he was talking to his mother. And then I guess she was high. It would make sense. Um, he was like, this is Zach, this is Zach. He was like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever the case would be. And then he hangs up. So, Jeremiah starts smoking, and then Zach's friend, yeah, I think his name is Tony. Tony tells him, like, listen, you can't be smoking in my father's establishment. And Jeremiah was like, F you and your father. Tony was about to let him know, and Zach was like, nah, I'm, let me handle this. Like, listen, you need to stop smoking my man's spot. Like, I'll agree to go see your, see 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 my, our mother, but, you know, you got to get up out of here. So after that, Zach finishes from the barbershop, and he heads to work, and he sees Bryce, and Bryce basically tells him, like, listen, I'm sorry. Um, you know, but Zach tells him and reads him his right, like, listen, why you didn't tell me this is how you got down and stuff like that? He was like, listen, it wasn't like, it wasn't like that at first, but still you should let me know how, how you felt and your feelings because then now I'm always going to be looking at you on edge and see that you got some, another ulterior motive. So Bryce was like, listen, after these two projects, I can see if you do not want to work with me and stuff like that. But Zach, you know, set him straight, put him in, in his place. Like, listen, that's just what it is. So eventually... Bryce was like, okay, and they both went into their their offices. So now we got Fatima and Angela at work. Angela is basically coming down more to Fatima's um floor while she's doing her work. And they get ready to leave for the day. She also talks about how Bryce is the down low brother. And Angela's like, she's not quite feeling him like that no more. And she's thinking about, you know, moving on. And she's like, I like my men straight, you know, whatever kid it be. So they eventually get ready to leave for the day. And they go into the garage to the car. And Fatima realized she got a flat. And she realized that she got a, a nail stuck in it. So Angela was talking about, like, listen, why you don't call Zach to um, see if he can help you? Because, you know, Fatima goes to the back of her car and get out a crowbar so she could try to take the nuts and bolts off the train of tire. And Angela was like, listen, call Zach. Because, you know, most men like to feel and want to know that their woman needs them. And Fatima's the type of person, listen, I don't need no man. I can do what I, I can do it myself. And that's just what it is. So she's in down on the bottom with the crowbar, taking off some nuts and bolts and up walk. One, this guy dressed in like a, a construction vest, whatever case it be, come to find out he's the contractor for the building. And he already know who that Angela's Angela and Fatima Fatima. And he talks about how she, she, that he can get somebody to get her, change her tire, whatever case it be. He's like, she was like, listen, I'm not leaving my keys here with you. She was like, he was like, listen, your tire is not inside your car. I do not need your keys. Just leave it here. I got a guy that can fix this and do this for you. And then she was like, thank you. And then they go on about their separate ways. Um, Fatima finally makes it back home. Zach is really happy, excited to see her. They talk about, I guess, Heather, whatever case it be. And then, you know, he's still trying to get it in with her. Like, sis, I mean, bro, let it go. Let it go. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. I think I covered everything that happened in this episode. I think. But if I didn't, let me know in the comment section down below. Great way to start up season two. Like, okay, okay, okay. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.